Yeah, well, we want to be us. There's no doubt about that. I think the tipping point really is the face-off X, right? And I think when we played them last time, we gave up four of their 11 goals. We're off of the face-off. So first on the checklist is preventing offensive opportunities, you know, from the face-off. And, uh, you know, just doing a great job of, of, you know, our scheme defense, making our one stops, not giving them second chance opportunities, and then getting into an offensive, you know, rhythm down at the other end of the field. How are you able to score 16 goals but keep that? You know, keep that methodical. We shot pace. the ball really well. Yeah. We put 27 shots on the cage, and uh, you know, to score 16 of 34 is something that you can't, you know, you can't rely on. You know, that was one of those like basketball. You know, you just had a night where you were shooting the ball particularly well. You know, we do pride ourselves on getting the good spots on the field, and not taking necessarily bad shots, and we felt like we were able to. Um, you know, David obviously had a big night. You know, I think offensively, our system is such that it's not necessarily designed for any one guy. You know, I think Jesse and Carter and certain guys certainly have options. Um, but it was nice to see, you know, David take advantage of, you know, the opportunity. They were really, you know, loading up on some other areas. And I think David knew he had some opportunities and he, and he took advantage of it. Big picture wise, you've taken mm -hmm. all these steps as a program to, to win a second game in the NCAA tournament to get to a semifinal. No question that's that's the biggest step. I mean, is there some pressure there beyond just playing in the second, second uh, NCAA <clears throat> tournament game? No, there's no pressure. I mean, the pressure we put on ourselves is the fact that we don't want our season to end. You know, you love being around this group so much that you hate the, th the idea of thinking that, you know, that that could possibly come to an end. But, you know, the bottom line is, you know, regardless of what happens, you're, you're within two weeks. Um, and you want to finish, you know, you want to finish the right way. You know, we've been to the quarterfinals three times. You know, I think big picture, as you said, you know, the next logical step is to, to, to break through to a championship weekend. Um, but if you seeded the eight teams that remained it, I'm sure the lacrosse world will tell you that we're the eighth seed. You know, so I think we're going into it with that mentality. You know, that's how we entered the tournament last weekend. I don't think anybody gave us a shot against Duke, except for the 40 guys in the locker room. And I'm not sure anybody's given us one out in Denver. Um, you know, so I think for us, it's just sticking to what Buckeye Lacrosse is and, you know, focusing on the, the, the keys, you know, to what we need to do to be successful in a 60 minute window. You said a couple minutes ago, you, you've got to play Buckeye Lacrosse out there. Was that Buckeye Lacrosse this past Saturday? Was that? kind of the game with the plan for you guys? Yeah, I think so. You know, like I said, I thought things got away from us a little bit early, and then I was really disappointed with the last, you know, eight minutes of the game. Mm -hmm. I felt like they made kind of that helter-skelter push to score goals, and I thought discipline-wise, we, we did a couple things that were out of, you know, out of characteristic, let our emotions get the best of us. So I wouldn't know if it was a full 60, but, I, you know, real, really proud of the way they responded. I felt like the kids went in there with, we went in there with confidence. You know, we went in there saying, listen, we were, we were disappointed with the way we played against Hopkins. Uh, but we felt like we've played in a lot of big games this year, you know, in a lot of big venues, and we still have a lot of confidence that our best lacrosse is out there for us. And I feel like that's more of what we're chasing than anything. And, you know, Duke was that next team. And, you know, we looked at them on film, we studied who they were, and we felt like we had a plan, um, and, and things kind of broke our way early. And this is a game of runs and momentum. And when you get on a run, you want to stay on as long as you can. And we were able to in that second quarter through the third. And then I felt like it was just a matter of, you know, certainly kind of staying the course to finish off the game. Yeah. You see, you want to keep.